I say salam alaikum to my dear sister uh, Linda and then uh, hello to uh, non-Muslims who uh, watch this video later. Uh, today's topic is about uh, who the devil is, the shaitan we say it in Abrahamic religion and especially in Islam we call it shaitan. Uh, I'm a former uh, apostate and um, or better say former atheist that uh, I converted to Islam and I converted to Islam not because Islam is the uh, you know, a message of God, nor is because God exists, nor because Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, was prophet of God. I converted to Islam because I found the solution to all our problems in Islam. And uh, today I'm going to talk about that, uh, what is that solution to all our problems. Uh, the problems comes, uh, according to uh, Abrahamic religion, the problems comes from the devil, the Satan, we say it. But, uh, uh, according to my understanding from the uh, uh, from Quran and the facts, uh, the Satan is uh, nothing but uh, a system. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some people take it uh, wrong uh, as if as Satan is uh, you know is a falling angel or uh, uh, Muslim says that he was a jinn. And uh, but uh, I'm going to open this uh, topic that uh, to prove that why uh, I believe that Satan is. Uh, a system we call it today capitalism okay and uh, <clears throat> why uh, uh, what is the solution to uh, to all our problems uh, the, um, my understanding is that uh, uh, Quran says that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and uh, to immorality and all bad deeds so the source of all bad deeds is uh, the Satan uh, according to Quran but in order to do that, to guide us to bad deeds, he needs to uh, spread poverty among us. So poverty is uh, his, his uh, uh, weapon, okay? And uh, we, if we don't have a, a capitalist system, then 1% of the total, uh, the capital, uh, the, sorry, the population of the world, they cannot gather hun uh, $110 trillion, which is the 50% of the total capital of the planet, and uh, uh, you know, has forced hundreds of millions of people to to uh, poverty. Okay, and uh, I just was uh, w I wanted to ask uh, that uh, your son doesn't pass uh, all the time. From there, it would be much better, <laughs> sister. Yeah, it would be much nicer. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, uh, the, the power of Satan is, as I said, is in, uh, in poverty and then it is a, a system which we call it capitalism is uh, creating the poverty. Poverty is, um, is uh, the opposite word to wealth. If wealth doesn't exist, poverty will not exist either. Okay, so uh, we as Muslims, we stand towards Mecca every day, uh, five times a day and ask uh, uh, God to show us the right way the straight way and uh, <clears throat> uh, the wrong way is the, the way we are living today is a jungle with jungle rules in that jungle rules is that uh, the strongest one get the most and the weakest one get the least or even nothing and they have to die okay so these jungle rules uh, make uh, these jungle rules make uh, people to do all bad deeds and uh, uh, guide them to to do bad deeds and uh, yes um, so the, the the you know the the solution will be to live in opposite uh, you know side of the wrong way which is a, a world where none of these bad deeds happens so where uh, when the, the source of all bad deeds is the the you know the capitalist system then uh, in e the inequality, inequality, then the, the, the solution will be equality. And in Mecca, we dress, uh, the dress of Ahram, which is uh, uh, <clears throat> the white dress, okay? And in that uh, white dress, no one is rich and no one is poor, okay? So Allah wants us that we go there once in, uh, in a lifetime, <clears throat> dress equal, everybody, and then we say to, to him that we accept it, and then we have to reject the opposite of that equality, which he explained in, in, 
in Quran is the one who spread poverty among us, okay? And uh, this uh, Satan, which is the system, guide us to all bad deeds. So he wants us to reject that system and live equal, okay? That's why we dress uh, those uh, white dress and he's he has decided even the, the, the material, which is cotton, and we don't have right to wear any jewelry, any, any, anything which uh, make us inequal, you know? So, and then we stand towards Mecca every day, we say, show me the right way. Unfortunately, he has shown us the right way 1400 years, and uh, most fellow Muslims, they don't understand it, okay? So today, we, I, I want to open this uh, topic, and uh, I want you to uh, talk to me what you think about this, um, uh, you know, Topic. What do you think? Do you think that it, uh, uh, <clears throat> God uh, has uh, created a power which is everywhere on this planet? Okay, in eight different, eight billion different places, fooling everybody. Okay, and then it's like, uh, let's say, U.S. government spread a very, very uh, contagious uh, virus in USA that you can't even catch it in uh, in desert. And then if you catch it, he, uh, government says that I will put you in prison if you catch it. That's unfair, okay? <clears throat> so God is fair, God is just. So has he done like this, that he spread this, power, uh, this uh, virus among us and if we catch it, he will punish us? No, he didn't do that. This is the system we have created. And I'm going to um, answer your questions and explain uh, through Quran that, uh, <clears throat> We will leave one day, this is, this is his promise, that one day we will leave without this system and we will live in an equal world. We will share everything with each other. So you can unmute your uh, <clears throat> microphone now and ask a question, sister, if you, you accept this or you, go, you reject something, you know, I appreciate it very much. Of course, the Quran um, tells the story of Iblis, as if he's an individual, but some people do uh, interpret that as hyperbole, and I don't have a problem with how anybody interprets that. I think the main question is what we're, what are we going to do about it? Um, yeah. I have a friend who's a um, minister of the Church of Satan, and he's actually very uh, kind and respectful, and he he says that the Church of Satan actually does not worship Satan. They, they um, glorify the part of a person that has that rebellious spirit that follows the satanic suggest suggestions. Um, the, I have a theory that gets shot down a lot that humans are worse than Satan because uh, the Quran describes Satan as giving evil suggestions and whisperings, but he doesn't actually commit the sins and the crimes. It's the people following those suggestions that are uh, committing rape and murder and all burglary right. and extortion and all those things. So um, human beings are worse than Satan because they're following the suggestions. Right, and uh, let me tell you, explain for your uh, sister. Uh, uh, my explanation is that if somebody, uh, let me uh, give you this example, sister. Imagine that you are uh, a grocery uh, keeper, okay, or a grocery owner, and I come to, to your store. I don't have money, my family are, uh, is hungry, and I have to buy some food for them, but I don't have money. So I take something, I steal something and go, all right? So here, Satan fooled me, all right? I listened to Satan. However, I have never heard Satan, uh, you know, whispering in my head or, you know, such things, if I commit something wrong. So I have never heard that. And I don't think anybody on this planet says that I heard Satan talk to me, I did this, okay? So this is, uh, it is as if as he hypnotized us. So I'm going to locate for you the Satan with this very, very uh, simple, uh, you know, um, uh, example. So I don't have money. I steal something from your grocery and go. Now imagine, sister, that you live in a world 
where money doesn't exist, okay? You don't own the grocery. The grocery belongs to, to God. You just work there and you get reward from God instead of money, okay? And I don't get money either. Anywhere I'm just working, also get reward. And I come after my job, I come to your grocery, I take whatever I need, and then I say, uh, thank you, Sister uh, Linda, God bless you, and then I go home, okay? The first picture, because money existed, Satan existed. Satan fooled me, okay? If we, if we say Satan is that, that angel or that, uh, what is it, <clears throat> that gene, okay? But in the second picture, he didn't exist. Why? Because money didn't exist. So it's very, very obvious that this, the Satan is the money, you know, the system that uh, forced me to steal food because I'm hungry, okay? It is very, very clear. Anybody should understand. Another thing is that I can give you a lot of examples, okay? Uh, <clears throat> Adolf Hitler could kill uh, create a war in Second World War and kill 60 million people, okay? Today, we have a lot of Adolf Hitlers. You know, these neo-Nazis, you should, for sure, you also have in USA neo-Nazis, okay? We have it in Sweden, we have it in Europe as well. They are also capable of killing hundreds of millions of people, okay? They are not better than Adolf Hitler. They are as evil as Adolf Hitler. Their mind is corrupted, their mind, they are so bad people. But why they cannot do that? Because the system, the opportunity is not there, okay? So you have to remove the opportunity, the opportunity so people don't do bad deeds. For example, I give you another example. If you, um, we have a problem we have had in the past that people go and rob the bank, okay? So if you get rid of the banks, all right, then nobody can go, go and rob a bank. So that's the solution, the, the problem is solved, all right? So the solution is to get rid of the source, all right? Not to blame it on something, a higher power. So from where comes this, uh, this problem, for the source is from the capitalist system that 1% of the world population, they own $110 trillion, is 50% of the total capital of the planet to gain more they spread poverty, they, and they make coup d'etat here and there. They uh, produce weapons, they try to, you know, become richer and richer, all right? So in that war system, in this system, that hundreds of millions of people who are living on one dollar a day also, they need also to survive, so they steal, they sell drugs, you know, they do all bad deeds as well. And now another example, I, you live in, 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 in a, you said in a wood, <laughs> but um, you know, everybody know in big cities or cities as well, that always uh, the richer part of the city is much more safer than the poorer part of the slum part of the, the city, any cities, okay? I know this, this is a fact, all right? So, does it mean that this Satan talk to people or whispering in their head more than those rich people? No, it is because the richer, they have less need to do bad deeds like, you know, like, I mean, uh, sell their bodies, like going and selling drugs, okay, or going and stealing. Maybe they do bad deeds in other ways, but it is much safer, for example, if you, you leave your wallet somewhere, it is much more possible that you find it if it is in a rich area than in a poor area. If you lose your maybe golden chain also is more, because they don't need it, all right? In Sweden, for example, I live, uh, let me give you this example also. Uh, farmers of Afghanistan, they produce 90% of the world opium, okay? Because if they produce uh, potatoes and tomatoes, they can sell it maximum five, 10 cents per kilo if they are able to sell it, if they are able to sell it. But instead, they can sell a, a kilo of opium, hundreds of dollars per kilo, and they are 100% sure that they can sell it. It doesn't get bad, they can keep it even a year, okay? And they, there is 100% market for that, all right? So what drives them to, to produce opium instead of potatoes and tomatoes and agriculture is the money, you know? But in Sweden, because the farmers, they are well off, they don't produce a single gram of opium or any drugs. Or even in Latin America, they, because of the, the poverty, they go deep in the forest 
of Amazonas and produce cocaine and smuggle it all the way to, to, uh, to uh, USA and other countries. Do you think that if they cannot sell drugs, do you think they ever produce it, they ever try to smuggle it? No. What drives them to that is the money. Am I right or wrong, my sister? Does it make sense? I think materialism has existed since the proverbial apple, but it's out of control now to where people just want more and more to, for self-satisfaction. And uh, like, like it's often said, there is, there is enough materials to satisfy everybody but there's not enough materials to satisfy everybody's greed. And greed here is, is the big problem. Um, and also, the, the, if, if there wasn't so much greed among the wealthy people, there wouldn't be so much poverty because there is enough wealth for equal right. distribution. Yes, yes. But now I will tell you, sister, about the greed, okay? I have explained that if the source is not there, okay, they cannot be greedy, okay? They are greedy for what? They, they are greedy to become billionaires, okay? But if they cannot, sister, how can they be greedy? For example, I told you that you live in a world, money doesn't exist. How can you gather hundreds of billions of dollars when it doesn't exist, all right? When gold, even gold, uh, it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't have any value, all right? You don't go and gather a lot of, uh, you know, iron, do you? Do you gather a lot of, uh, you know, uh, different metals? No. Why? Because it doesn't have value. But gold you gather because it has value, all right? You want, if you see a tons of, hundreds of tons of gold, you will try, you want to, you want to have all of it, okay? Because you know it has a value. But if it doesn't have value at all, then it is like crop, any, any other met, uh, metal, all right? So we have to, in order to get rid of it, yes, sister, you, are, you want to say something? Who put the value on gold? Why, why oh, is yes, gold yes. so valuable? Who put the, yeah, who put the value on gold is the capitalist system, okay? It is going up down also because of the capitalist system. If the capitalist system doesn't exist, then gold doesn't have any value, okay? And uh, uh, you, you said that it, uh, this greedy, we cannot, uh, I mean, there is no solution. There is a solution, sister. Cor uh, Islam is the final message of God. I told you from the beginning that it's not because it has more, uh, you know, uh, rules and it has uh, uh, more praying and more fasting. No, it is not because of that. It is the final message of God because of that, show me the right way we do it five times a day because of that dress of Ahram, I told you that we were, and the, the solution is an equal system, okay? There is a solution, but we have to, the only problem is that we don't understand that solution, okay? The solution is that to get rid of the, I'll give you another example that, uh, uh, <clears throat> imagine that there, there is a, you know, there is a room, few children are playing there, two, three years old, four years old, and there are several knives on the floor, and the rules is that don't touch the, the knife. You know, parents say, don't touch the knife. It is dangerous, okay? They, it is wrong to say, don't touch the knife because they, one of them will touch the knife, okay? And they can da uh, damage themselves. The, 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 the correct way is to remove the knives, okay? Not to just tell them, don't touch the knife. So Islam didn't come to say, this is haram, this is halal, this is, you know, forbidden, don't do that, I will punish you. Islam came to, um, uh, to guide us to a world where we, do, we don't need to do this. For example, uh, alcohol is haram, forbidden, okay? But over a million people die from alcohol because some company want to make money, all right? The solution is not just to say it is haram. The solution will be to get rid of that, you know, uh, that system that people want to become billionaires by producing vodka, whiskey, uh, I don't know, cognac, brandy, all these things, okay, and sell it in the market, all right? If they cannot sell it, do you think they ever produce that? No, maximum one, two person here that they, they produce a little bit of wine at home, okay? That's the maximum for themselves. So, but 
over a million people don't die because uh, you know these uh, beer companies or alcohol companies want to become richer. Another thing I can say is that <clears throat> over five million people die every year in the world because of tobacco. You know that I don't know if you have heard that or not. Over five million people by 2050 will be over eight million people every year. So why? Because some companies they want to become rich and richer. Okay, they produce all these different uh, cigarettes and they advertise it. They try to, uh, you know, uh, to um, convince people to smoke. All right. So if we get rid of this system and they cannot sell it anymore, then they will not produce it. Who is going to, uh, you know, grow its own <laughs> tobacco in the garden or, or whatever and uh, start to smoke? Few people, maybe nobody. Okay. So uh, the, the solution to, to save all these people is to, to get rid of that, you know, that system. Another, uh, another uh, example I can give is that U USA, okay? Uh, there was a man who uh, uh, shot 52 people in Las Vegas, I think it was one or two years ago, okay? Just because in USA, you can go to supermarket and buy how many guns you want, machine guns, okay? If this system didn't exist in USA. For example, in Sweden, we don't have such a things because people cannot go and buy, you know, guns everywhere. Okay, so it is not enough to say that gun is wrong, killing people is wrong. Okay, some crazy people always can do that. So get rid of this system that you sell guns on the street. Uh, I mean, uh, in the in the market that everybody can go and buy it and. Uh, such a things that usually happen in the USA, people go and shoot in the school and uh, here and there, that one will disappear. Why we don't have such a problem in Europe? Very, very seldom, very, very seldom, those who really, really want to, you know, the, the, those who are criminals, they go and find a pistol somewhere, okay? But it is not that I go also and buy it, you know, everybody go and buy it and keep it at home. So the, the solution is always to get rid of the source, all right? So the Satan is in reality, in Quran as well, Allah says that one day Satan will disappear from this, uh, this world, okay? In that conversation he does with, uh, with the Satan uh, in Quran, Satan asks him, give me time until end of the days and I will fool human, okay? Allah says to him, no, I don't give you time until uh, end of the days. You have a certain time, okay, a decided time. So uh, the, you, people don't analyze that, unfortunately. Uh, the, the, if we say the conversation between Satan and God was, if we say Satan is, I say it, that all of these are messages. Messages for us today in 21st century to understand what, who is the, the true Satan, all right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala couldn't talk to people of thousands of years ago and tell them that, for example, this sister, they wouldn't understand at all. But today we can understand it. That if we think that that uh, conversation happened at zero, okay, the, the time of creation, and the end of the day is uh, 100, so Shaitan asked God to, sh to give me time until 100 so that I fool human and uh, to show you that they are not worth that I worship them, uh, uh, prostrate to them, okay? But God told him, Allah told him that, no, I don't give you time until 100, okay? I give you a certain time. So uh, rationality says that we have to take it as, for example, his time will end maybe 80 or 90, okay? So if he's, we say that his time, for example, we just imagine, okay, that his time finish 80 and today is 79.9, tomorrow will be 80, okay, we wake up and shaitan doesn't exist anymore. Will people stop doing bad deeds if the source is that, you know, that angel or jinn we talk about? Will people start, you know, for example, farmers of Afghanistan, will they start, uh, stop producing opium? No, they have to put food on their table, okay? For that, they need again to do bad deeds. This 1% of the uh, world population, they will continue to increase their wealth, okay? Because it is in our nature, all right? We want, we have this greed that you talked about, and we want more and more, okay? 
the solution is to get rid of that source that they cannot be greed, even if they want. Uh, let me say, I, I told you the example of the, 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 the bank. If bank doesn't exist, I cannot go and rob it because it doesn't exist. Sister. How can I go and rob a bank when it doesn't exist? Okay. If everything belongs to me on the, in this world, okay, if we live in an equal world and everything belongs to me, I cannot come to your grocery and steal anything because everything in your grocery belongs to me and everybody else. So what I do, I just come and take and say, thank you very much, Sister Linda, and I go, okay? And we live on, uh, you know, this belief that uh, we say it in Islam, israf is haram, the uh, overuse is haram, forbidden, okay? So we live in this, uh, uh, you know, understanding that I have to use as much as I need, not to go and take a lot. Of course, we, uh, we don't do that even when, to one day you go and maybe take several things extra, but tomorrow you see that it is still there. What for? I have to go and, uh, you know, uh, stock it at home when it is in the store and I can go and take it anytime I want. All right. You know, uh, people go and loot sometimes uh, stores when it is, uh, it happens this, uh, 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 you know, in, in USA, uh, what do you call it? The, the demonstrations, you know? The looting of the stores. It is because they, they see the opportunity and they know that tomorrow they cannot go and, uh, you know, they can, cannot go and take everything they, they, they uh, it exists in that store. But if they, they know that any time, any day they can go and take whatever they need, they will not un go and loot it. All right. So, um, yes, if you have a question, sister, I would like to, to answer. I think the reason that there is a crime and materialism has always existed, but the demand for tobacco and alcohol and drugs and materialism all stem from a lack of that spiritual connection to God. So how, how do you think we should get rid of capitalism? I think we have to first reach people with the message of being in submission to God. And I don't, I don't know how it is in, yes. where you are in Sweden, yes. but in the USA, Dawa is so limited to trying to defend Islam against all the lies yes. that we forget that we need, we need to reach people not just to their brains, but to their hearts and souls and make them committed to God and to God's will and submit to him. All right. Yes, sister, uh, the thing is that unfortunately, um, <clears throat> many Muslims, uh, you know, they have been preaching, you know, the traditional Islam, okay? And I was, uh, I have had uh, several debates with um, this Christian uh, Islamophobic TV channel called Trinity, okay? And when I explain for them, they, they loved it, okay? Depend on how you are going, if you are just going to explain for them that, okay, you are going to pray and fast, uh, you know, just because you, have, you are going to heaven, okay? Most people uh, don't believe in that, say that, okay, why I have to go to heaven? But if you explain for them that this is going to guide us to a world where no one goes hungry, you know, we get rid of all, all our problems, uh, that greed you were talking, I explained for you as well, that what, from where comes that greed? It comes from that, uh, uh, from the, you know, the, the opportunity, as I said, the opportunity that exists in this uh, capitalist system that gives uh, this opportunity to, uh, to people to become rich and rich and richer, all right? So um, the solution is very, very obvious to get rid of that, you know, that, as I said about that tobaccos also, it is not just greed. I have explained that to get rid of that system, they cannot be greedy. They will not do that. They are not crazy system. They are not psychopath to, to, you know, to kill people just because, I don't know, they want that people smoke. They are not that. They want to just become rich. So if they cannot sell it, they will not do that. They will not produce it. Believe me. I... Uh, I, I cannot uh, come to any example right now, 
that uh, you know when pe it is but very obvious that if they cannot sell it those farmers of afghanistan yes i gave you the example here in sweden farmers of sweden they don't need okay they don't need to produce drugs so they produce only because the government take care of them okay here in sweden the farmers they are well off the government take well care, care of them and they don't need to produce any drugs all right but farmers of afghanistan or those people in latin america who are suffering okay from poverty they go deep in the forest of uh, amazonas to to produce uh, cocaine and you know uh, sell it all right so to get rid of this greed i said is to get rid of the system the the source all right and uh, <clears throat> you said uh, you asked the solution, and I told you the solution is in those dress of Ahram, okay? Equality, we are all equal there. We are not going there just as a tourist, you know, it is not a, uh, you know, sighting uh, place that we, we go there and, and God has asked us to go there. It is a promised place. It's a place that we go to promise God. Accept it, accept that equality, and then reject reject the opposite of it, which he explained in Quran, that is the one who guides you to all bad deeds. And I explained that what guides us to all bad deeds, those hundreds of millions of people who live in one dollar a day. Sister, do you think they have any other opportunity than to do bad deeds to survive? They are forced to do that, okay? It is not that, you know, when you're hungry, when your children are hungry, it is not that shaitan whisper in your head that, or you, you know, go and steal because you need to, to eat. You understand yourself. Your stomach push you. Does your stomach push you, not the shaitan whisper in your head. So give them the opportunity that people have in a country like Sweden, okay? Like that. And crimes in Sweden that despite majority of people are atheists, crime here is, here is much, much less than many many countries who are even believing you know like even muslim countries okay like in afghanistan in iran in iraq why because here not because here satan cannot enter people's head or he doesn't whisper in their head no it is not that they don't believe in anything okay so they should fall for satan much easier no it's because of the system here i tell you 100 percent. if you i have it has happened to me I have forgotten my wallet in cashier. One hour, two hours later, I've called to the store. Oh yes, your wallet is here. I have gone and taken it, okay? But in a third world country or in a developing country, okay, where they are poor, it is maybe 99% that you don't get back your, your wallet because people are more, you know, in need uh, uh, to take my wallet than here, all right? So the need is making people to do all these bad things. So the solution is, as I said, we preach this message to people that Allah wants us to live in an equal war. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you another example, one more example that, um, why I'm saying this, okay? In the past, we had a lot of problems, sister, okay? God sent us prophets to solve our problems. For example, let's say uh, during Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, <clears throat> 1400 years ago, Arab Bedouins, they were burying their daughters alive, all right? So he solved that problem. That problem, he told them not to do that. Women didn't have any rights at all. So he, uh, Pro Prophet Muhammad, got them uh, equal right in many parts and 50% in other parts, despite uh, women on this planet, nowhere on this planet had a single percent right, okay? He got them 50%. So this, is, this was a problem and many other problems Prophet Muhammad solved. But uh, how many percent are that, those problems that he solved? 10, 20, 15, 30%, not more. But was it intentionally God wanted to solve these problems or by accident he solved these problems? So we understand, me and you as Muslims, we understand that he intentionally, he wanted to solve his problems. But why he didn't solve 100% of our problems? He couldn't or he didn't, no. He can, he is almighty God. 
to solve all of our problems 100%. He has given us the message, okay, that solve all our problems, entire problems, 100% of our problems. Just we haven't understood that, that, that message. So Islam is, as I said, the final message because 100% of our problems will be solved, okay? Not just 10% or 15% or 20%, all right? So uh, the message is to get rid of the source, which is uh, the symbol of that is the Satan, okay? And the solution is the equality, all right? Um, uh, as I said, that inequality is the, 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 the source and equality is the solution. Show me the right way. He, we say it five times a day. And the right, the wrong way is the jungle, sister, that we are living in, is the, the rules of this jungle that we have adopted. Yes, the, the, the rules of the jungle says that the strongest get the most, the weakest get, uh, get little or nothing. All right, and they have to do every bad deed to survive. And those uh, strongest one also get every bad, do every bad deed to get more. That greed is in there, but the greed will disappear, as I said, when we get rid of the source. All right. Yes, sister. If any uh, other question, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yes. Well, I think what what you're saying is get to people's minds change their mindset about materialism and greed but i'm i'm thinking that's that's an indirect approach the more direct approach is to reach people's hearts and souls okay and get them in submission to god's will and then the good things will follow yeah but sister but, but you have to uh, explain for them the right way what is god's will okay and people is not just heart they use their brain they think with their brain it's the brain who uh, you know order them to do things all right so we have to get in their brain to tell them that this is the solution and this is the you know the problem the source of the problem is here the solution is here and allah wants us to live in an equal world is because that's why because we start you know that allah is everywhere okay allah is uh, in washington in the wood you are living now okay in uh, tokyo everywhere the, and he's up usually when we want to just ask him something we, what we do usually we do like this we look up <laughs> you know because we think that he's in the sky okay but anyway he's everywhere so why he asked us exactly towards mecca to prostrate Mecca is not because he's living there. He's everywhere. He says in Quran as well, anywhere you look, I am there. Okay. So there is something else there. As I said, it is that those dress of equality. Okay. That is there. And he wants us to prostrate that equality. He say, and that's why we say, show me the right way. You know, he has shown us the right way 1400 years and we haven't understood it and we are still in the wrong way. I told you the wrong way is a way that we, we are living in prostitution, drugs, poverty, war, you know, all these troubles that happening in this world, every single of them give me a big problem, <clears throat> even a small problem that is not connected to money. As I get, told you, uh, you know, tobacco, alcohol, bank robbing, uh, any robbing, okay? Corruption, uh, human trafficking, you know, all these problems, the source is money because people want to become rich, okay? They do it because they want to become rich. So this system is the problem. And uh, this system, this jungle is the wrong way. And we have to live in a world where these rules are not there, that you are stronger, you get the most, okay? I'm the weak, I get little or nothing. And I have to struggle, I have to do every bad deed to get more, all right? So we have to get rid of this world. We have to, you know, make people to believe that we are human being, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> God created us like animals, all right? I give, give you this explanation of that as well, that we are all born as animals but he tried to guide us 
to live like human being and die like human being, okay? But unfortunately, many of us live like animals and die like animals, all right? And the reward for those who live like human being and die like human being is the heaven, all right? So to live like human being, we have to accept that I'm not animal. I don't want to live in this jungle system. I don't want to see, you know, children are dying of hunger. I don't want to see, for example, Sweden produce landmines, sell it to conflict countries to make money, all right? And children, they lose their legs on that landmine or they get killed, okay? Years, many years after the, the conflict is finished, people still get killed on the landmine. And this is just one example of millions of examples. Just because Sweden want to make money, okay? And, uh, you know, interesting is that, for example, even JFK, they cannot find, uh, let me go to this also as well, that they cannot find his killer because he was going to make peace in Vietnam, uh, finish the war, and the weapon cartels, they would lose $100 billion a year from selling weapon to American taxpayers. That's why they killed him to continue the war in, in uh, what is it, in, in Vietnam. In Sweden, you know, our prime minister was killed also, Olof Palme, in 1986 because he stopped uh, a lot of weapons which was going from uh, Sweden to Iran during Iran-Iraq war, you know, because it's a cont uh, controversial, uh, you know, uh, things, but it is very, very obvious they cannot find his killer either after so many years because the system, those who sell weapons, okay, they killed him to send those weapons which was going to Iran because, because it was embargo, weapon embargo against Iran, and then he stopped the, that because he wanted to be, be, be more human, okay? Uh, Olof Palme, I don't know if you read this history as well, he went to Iran and Iraq to make peace, but he didn't succeed because uh, Iranian leader, that Ayatollah Shaitan Khomeini, he said, he, I, I want to continue the war. So when he came back to Sweden, he saw that, oh, we have a weapon factory here, it's, it's, it's called Bofosh, okay? He saw that this Bofosh is going to send millions of dollars worth weapon to Iran. He stopped them. And then he was killed and the weapon went, you know, uh, went there. So uh, this is also another example that I was telling you that I don't want to live in a world where people sell so much weapon and they, uh, you know, they create conflicts here, there as well, like, you know, USA and create a lot of conflicts in, in other countries uh, uh, just because they want to sell uh, billions of dollars weapons, even China, Russia, all these things. So I want to live in a uh, human world because I want to be like a human, not like animals of the jungle because we are living in a jungle. Just it is a modern jungle, okay? okay? So God wants us to live in an equal world, uh, in a world where, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, everybody share everything with each other, and we live, as we say it in, Quran, in Islam, fi sabilillah, okay? Means uh, we live and work for God, okay? So we live, uh, we work for free, and we get everything free. And there is another uh, also example that I can give you about uh, why I believe that God wants us to live in that equal world, and he has promised us that one day it's going to happen, is the, you know, the, the story of Mahdi. Okay, we, we say, we believe in Islam that uh, one day Mahdi will come and save us. Okay, you, you know that as well. You have heard this story, sister, yes? Uh, so uh, the story is, in reality, is that one day we will get rid of our problems. There is a way out of these problems. But who is going to save us is not in reality Mahdi. Mahdi, Messiah, and Jesus upcoming, these are all uh, these are all just message that there is a way out. But who is going to take us out of this jungle is not a Superman, that God sent the Superman and save us. No, if he was going to do that, he would have sent this Superman thousands of years ago. He, would, he wouldn't put us here at all from the beginning, okay? So he has given us the, the guideline, uh, you know, everything, so that we ourselves save ourselves from this jungle, okay? He has shown us the, the right way, the way out of this jungle. It is we who have to 
step out of this jungle, all right? Now, I give you uh, this example that, imagine that Mahdi is real, okay? Mahdi will come and save us, okay? So now today Mahdi will come and say, oh, I've come and save, to save you, all right? What do you think, sister, what he's going to do to get rid of all these problems? He has a few options, okay? One option is that he change our mind, okay? This free will, he get rid of the free will that I, I don't want anymore, you know, like robots, I do whatever Mahdi order me, all right? He ordered me to work like a robot from morning to evening, and then he charged me, okay? Let's say this is the one option, which is out of uh, question because it is against the creation. The creation is that we have the free will, okay? Second option is that he force us, yeah? He force anybody who do any bad deeds, he will burn or something like that, all right? Again, this option is not possible because people do it bad, bad deed anyway. They have done it in the history, they will do it anyway. By forcing, you cannot get rid of, uh, you know, bad deeds. Uh, I know that in the past, in Renaissance time in Europe, they would burn people alive, okay? A lot of bad, you know, terrible things, but people were doing bad deeds anyway. So the third option, oh, but by the way, uh, he has to anyway put, uh, put, uh, put food on the plate, a people's plate, if he doesn't want that people do bad deeds. As I said, the farmers of Afghanistan, they need to eat. So he has to create them food. How is he going to do that? Magic? No. So the third option, again becomes to get rid of this system that force us or lead us. Sometimes it force us. I can give you an example that this system sometimes force us to do bad deeds. I give you a great example system. In Iran, my country, the government, this devil government in Iran uh, was torturing people, in, uh, political prisoners in, in prison, okay? <clears throat> Uh, so terrible tortures that sometimes some prisoners, they would give up to get rid of these tortures by saying that I give up everything. And the government would force them, the, 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 you know, the IRGC, they would force them to, uh, you know, how to, to prove that they, they have given up was to torture other uh, prisoners or even to execute other prisoners, sister. Can you imagine a prisoner should execute other prisoners to just get rid of his torture? So do you think that that prisoner was doing such a terrible actions because Satan was whispering in their head? No, it was because of those tortures. If I explain for you the tortures, you would be amazed, my God, how could they do this to another human being, okay? And I cannot blame them either myself that why you didn't, you know, uh, continue to resist because I don't know even if I could myself resist against such as terrible tortures, okay? So who was making them to do these bad deeds was those IRGC Satans, okay? That satanic government that ruling Iran 42 years and has killed millions of people, okay? So you see that not always is whispering. I mean, whispering doesn't exist at all. It's not always greed, okay? Sometimes some, some, uh, some what is it? Some bad deeds is because of lack of knowledge. It's not because Satan whispered in your head. For example, I used to drink alcohol before I make my documentary movie about alcohol, because I didn't know that it is uh, bad, okay? And I was thinking that sometimes drinking a little bit is okay, it's not haram. <laughs> At that time, of course, I wasn't Muslim, <clears throat> but I didn't, I stopped drinking not because, because I became Muslim. I stopped drinking because I realized that, oh my God, this is bad, this is poison, okay? So that was lack of knowledge. Many things are because of lack of knowledge, many bad deeds. Some bad deeds or many bad deeds also is because of the system lead you to that bad deeds, guide you to that bad deeds. Some bad deeds is because of forcing, like human trafficking, you know, that um, they force some women 
They even kidnap them. Yes, you know, you have heard that. They kidnap them, they force them to prostitution. So this system is forcing people sometimes, sometimes guiding people, okay, encouraging people to do bad deeds. And sometimes people don't understand that this is bad, okay? Those who smoke cigarettes, they don't understand that this is bad for their life, <clears throat> okay? But how to teach them is, first of all, is to get rid of the system that uh, those tobacco companies, they don't produce anymore, okay? Uh, in Russia, for example, uh, um, uh, in Russia, I made my documentary movie in Russia and Sweden. In Russia, uh, hundreds of thousands of people die every year from alcohol because it is, uh, you know, you can drink anywhere on the street, you know, everybody can go and drink, but in Sweden, it's forbidden, all right? And um, alcohol is limited to uh, some liquor store, and those liquor store, they are open from nine in the morning to six o'clock in the evening. So like that, the government saved more lives than, for example, in Russia, that children, in my documentary movie, you can see, it is on my YouTube channel, okay? You will see that children, they go and buy beer instead of ice cream from ice cream seller, because the guy, I mean, there is no rules at all. At all. You just, ch children can go, 12, 13 years old can go and buy a beer instead of ice cream, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is uh, the system which allow people to do bad deeds, okay? Um, by not getting rid of the source, okay? So uh, I hope that uh, everything is clear. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, any other question, I would be glad to, to answer. As I, I explained about the greed that you can get rid of, if you get rid of this, the source, then nobody can be greed, not even, they are greed, but they cannot because the, the opportunity is not there. Because these people, they cannot buy a private jet, okay? Because money doesn't exist. They cannot, you know, they cannot buy a, a, a palace. They cannot buy, a, <clears throat> like these uh, preachers in USA, they have a, <clears throat> they have a private, uh, what is it? A private uh, airport as well, yeah? So that opportunity is there that they, they go and buy all these things, but if they cannot, the money doesn't exist, then they cannot do that. It is impossible that somebody can have, uh, I heard that a, a rich person in Saudi Arabia, his car collection is $1 billion. I don't know if you have heard that sister or not. If money doesn't exist, he cannot have such a collection of luxury cars, which cost $1 billion. Why? While hundreds of millions of people go hungry. So that system allow him to buy it because he has the money, okay? I cannot buy that. I cannot have that car collection. You cannot have it because you don't have the money, okay? So the solution is to get rid of that system that nobody has the money to buy the, uh, the, the you know, these car collections or luxury cars like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Bugatti, all these things, okay? So everybody will live on what they need. We don't need car collection. We don't need Lamborghini. We don't need, you know, these luxury cars. We don't need palaces. We need something that we leave and everybody have that opportunity, the same, equal, all right? In that way, we can call ourselves human being. Otherwise, we are not human being. We are, uh, you know, some animals that can get, you know, as much as we can, all right? We have the power as much as we have the power, we can get like the lions when they get, <clears throat> when they get a, a, a prey and they, they take the most for themselves, yeah? Like uh, anyway, uh, animals of the jungle. So we, we are human being and we, we should live like human being and we should share everything with each other. We should love one another. You cannot love one another if you don't care about those who have no money, nothing to eat, yeah? Yes, sister, if you have a question, I would. So how could you do that without reaching each person with a message of taking personal responsibility? Because it takes individuals to make a change like that. And most people have the mindset of um, the devil made me do it. Everybody makes mistakes and okay. I'm only human. 
and and they just make excuses for their actions instead of taking personal responsibility and they like to put everything off on god why why would god make a world where people are starving and suffering all the time but it's we can't put that off on god it's us human beings that have created the world like like that yes. god created the world to be good and yes. equal and people yes. are the ones that change that so we can't blame god we have to teach people to take personal responsibility mm -hmm. and to be personally responsible for making a better world yes yes sister uh, if uh, if we really believe that if you really believe that god created that system or that devil which as as i told you that his uh, reality is uh, quite strong okay because he sexy to fool majority of people on this planet majority little or more okay he's everywhere his power in this on this planet is almost if not more but as powerful as god because he's everywhere and he managed to fool everybody so if in reality if you believe that and Satan is that, uh, you know, power that God has created, then yes, we have right to blame him. That I told you that, I told you the example of the virus, that a US government spread a strong contagious virus in USA and tell you sister, if you catch this virus, I will put you in jail. That's not correct. You spread that virus. But in reality, no, this system is a creation of human beings, us people okay and that's why god has tried to guide us to that equal war so that we get rid of this source this uh, as jungles rules and jungle system so that we live in that world that we share everything with each other yes people uh, i told you if that world exists people cannot complain they cannot blame on anything anybody because they don't do bad deeds okay for example raping okay raping is uh, some people say uh, about talk about raping uh, that doesn't have uh, anything to do with the capitalism but i don't do it you don't do it because we had opportunity to live and uh, you know and to get education in a family in a society okay that we know we understand that it is wrong okay those people if i was i can tell you sister if i was born and brought up in a, uh, drug cartel family in uh, Colombia, for example, I would have put tattoo everywhere. I don't know. You have seen them for sure in movies everywhere. I would put have tattoo everywhere. I would have two guns like this shooting, you know, like this, and then kill anybody. Okay, <laughs> um, I could rape, do whatever, killing easily like flies. I could kill people, but Alhamdulillah, I had the opportunity to live the way. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me this opportunity to live in this way and in my family we became innocent drug smuggler you know we became political actives and then you know I um, ran away from my country I'm living in Sweden I'm political active still fighting for freedom of my country so just give if that person in Latin America in uh, in uh, Colombia, whatever, who is, you know, uh, a, a member of drug cartels. So if that person was living in my family, he would also, believe me, like all my brothers and sisters, he would also become a political actor, okay? And he would uh, not become a killer, not become a, you know, raper. So the solution is again to get rid of that source and then give everybody the same opportunity that me and you have sister okay and believe me we know you know yourself as well everybody knows that we human we are not programmed <clears throat> we are like water you put us in any uh, you know object we take the form of that object okay if you, if i was born let's say if i was born in in a village a uh, hindu village in, uh, in uh, india i would become uh, you know worshiping uh, uh, stones and woods okay i would become a pagan but alhamdulillah i was living somewhere else so i, I was guided okay i became atheist of course but uh, knowledge uh, made me uh, to to think and then to understand 
and this beautiful way. So the, I say that to, to reach people, we have to educate them, okay? And the, and the education, the first education is that we have to get rid of this source, this jungle rule, so that nobody is uh, producing drugs for selling, nobody producing uh, uh, tobacco for selling, nobody, um, you know, rob a bank, nobody, uh, uh, you know, force women to prostitution, this, uh, you know, human trafficking, nobody uh, become corrupted uh, for money and all these things. So uh, I just say that we have to make people to believe I mean, make people means persuade them, okay? Because there is no force in, in religion. To persuade people that this is the source, Allah wants us to live equal. <clears throat> That's why we stand towards Mecca five times a day. Otherwise, we would stand towards anywhere else, okay? Because we uh, prostrate to those dress of equality and we say, show me the right way. And he has shown us the right way. And we worship that equality and we have to live like that. We have to, you know, when we go to Mecca, we, uh, we promise him that I accept it. Uh, I don't know if you, you have heard that as well, that uh, we dress that dress, dress of Ahram and then we say to God, I accept it, okay? And then we, uh, we stone the opposite of it, okay? Which is the, I explain the devil, who is the devil, the opposite. And then we have to sacrifice for it. The, the, the sheep we sacrifice is, the promise, okay, that we promise God that we are ready to sacrifice for, for this equality. What is the sacrifice? Anything, anything valuable for us, okay? Even if it's, um, it, it is need, there is need for that, we can sacrifice our Ishmael, okay, which is our children. But uh, uh, inshallah, we don't need to do that, okay? We need just to get rid of this greed, we need to get rid of this. Uh, material world, okay, that I need, I want Lamborghini, I want Ferrari, I want Bugatti, I want to become rich, we need to get rid of this, we can sacrifice this one. Of course, we are not going to live, some people might think that we are going to live, uh, you know, in a very poor, poor world. No, it is wrong. We will have everything, but everybody ha will have it equal. We will have beautiful life, okay, a life that we are not going to be worried about our tomorrow, we are not going to be worried that I will be hungry tomorrow. Nobody is going to be worried about a bomb is dropping on their head or when might happen this nuclear war, you know, all these things. We will not be worried because we will be safe in a human world, in a world that, <clears throat> you know, we share everything with each other, inshallah. Yes, sister, if there is any other question. Um, people that come from educated families, good families, have um, easy lives, they also commit rape and murder and robberies. So we're back to personal commitment and personal responsibility. It, it doesn't matter. It, well, it does matter what kind of uh, family a person comes from as far as that family having a good influence on the person or a bad influence, but still each person has to make a personal commitment to, to do the right things and to follow proper guidance. Okay, but uh, sister, <clears throat> yes, uh, as I said, um, I'm not different to that, as I explained for you that I'm absolutely no different to that, uh, the, that person who is living in Colombia and uh, is a member of a drug cartel. I'm exactly the same person, okay? God has created us equal, all of us equal. Just that person has been born and raised in the wrong place, has gotten the wrong education, okay? I didn't say, for example, if you are a doctor, Education, I meant the right education. I didn't mean, for example, a doctor. There are doctors, there are scientists who, you know, they, uh, they, uh, they make chemical weapons to kill people. They make sophisticated weapons to kill people. So what I meant is about the proper education, okay? Not the, uh, you know, mathematic or such things. The proper education that we, get it, we got it and, and 
to get rid of that system that you know allow people to become greed allow people to to uh, to gain hundreds of billions of dollars by killing others by making coup d'etat here there selling weapons you know supporting dictators you know so uh, there are lots of examples that uh, what they do uh, to to become richer and richer uh, but anyway this is uh, this is the way to get rid of that that problem by not allowing them as i said uh, also that uh, <clears throat> um, adolf hitler doesn't exist not because there was just one adolf hitler in entire human history no adolf hitler doesn't exist because these neo nazis they don't have the opportunity says there nobody gives them that opportunity not because they are not bad because they don't have that chance that opportunity to start a war to you know to fool people because people have gotten more educated they said no 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 what you say is rubbish okay so to get rid of this problem is to educate people and to get rid of that source for example i give you another example that okay uh, i have said many times uh, why satan is uh, the the system i give you a, a example from my country my home country that uh, before the revolution we had bad deeds in my country okay uh, drugs and prostitution everything after the revolution uh, everything after 42 years everything has increased a thousand times okay why because according as quran said as well before revolution one dollar was seven iranian tuman iranian currency seven just seven iranian currency one dollar okay and my father had an average salary which was five hundred dollars with that five hundred dollars more than 42 years ago we could buy a house we could buy a car now after 42 years one dollar us dollar is thirty thousand tuman and salary average salary is 100 dollars so that's why poverty 75 percent of iranian people are living under the poverty line okay so that's what quran also said that satan uh, spread poverty among you and lead you to um, immorality and all bad deeds it happened exactly in my home country the same people with the same uh, you know culture same language everything after just 42 years have changed dramatically okay it is the system uh, not because the satan became more powerful in iran not because satan whispering more in their head no sister it's because the system became more satanic okay and in my country if you compare it with sweden 80 sweden the crime is a 2000 or 10000 times less here than there all right despite the government execute people you know is the the most uh, uh, according per capita the most execution happened in iran okay so despite all these things why the crime is much higher there is because of a satanic much more satanic system got the power i gave so many examples that why satan is the system and this is very very obvious that, that satan is the system i gave you that uh, the, the 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 picture i told you the, about the grocery so if we know that the satan is this system and god wants us to get rid of the satan so it is the way and we have to just talk people guide them teach them that this is the way that we have to live equal and <clears throat> This is uh, how we get the starvation by fighting for this system, by going towards this system, okay? By accepting it, when we go there, we say, I accept it, okay? By accepting this system and his demand and prostrate to that system that I, I accept it, I will follow that system. I want to live in a human world. I want to get out of this jungle. As I said, I don't want to live in a world where I always think about those poor children who cannot even buy candies those families who cannot buy candies for their children despite we have this opportunity okay to buy them fruit to buy them 
you know, food to buy them, everything. So what is this world we are living in that some people have just 1% of the world population have $110 trillion. Why? 50% of the world population, they own just half a percent of the total capital of the, uh, the, the world. And hundreds of millions of people live on $1 a day. I have said it so many times, well, I don't want to repeat it again. But anyway, this is a very, very inhuman world. This is a very, very, you know, uh, jungle world that uh, we are living in, in it, and we have to get out of this jungle. Yes. Any questions? Is <laughs> or if you uh, don't have any question, we can uh, finish it, inshallah. No, I don't have any more questions. Um, I just hope that everybody uh, got something from this message in this uh, discussion. Uh, and I like the point you made about the reason we prostrate toward Mecca is because it symbolizes equality. Yes. And we do need to see people, see every person as a human being that is equal and deserving of all the sustenance the planet offers. Exactly. I mean, better to say all uh, Allah uh, offers. He put, it, he put it on this planet for everybody equal. He didn't give it more to somebody and less to somebody, okay? Uh, it is just we who take it. It is our greed that we take it for ourselves, okay? But he gave it to everybody equal and we have to share it with each other, not to take it, you know? This is mine, this, I don't give it to you like, you know, animals of the jungle. Yes, thank you very much, sister, for taking your time and uh, inshallah, uh, we can educate people. We will have <clears throat> other, uh, you know, dialogue as well about, more about other subject of uh, Islam that I would like to address people, inshallah, and uh, we will get in touch. All right, sister? Thank you for inviting me. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, sister. Have a nice day. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.